good evening and welcome to Talking Wanderers. I'm Gary Pascoe. Hi, James. How are you? And you're James. I am James. <laughs> you're right, Gary. Yeah. Good. good to be back in it. We've had a little bit of a break. Yeah. That's the last one. And don't forget, our sponsors are Complete Carpentry and Build on air. And you can go to their website. It's www.completecarpentryandbuild.co.uk. And they will sort out all your building needs that you want any work doing. So, uh, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it, mate? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's been a few games that have gone on since we did the last one, haven't they? Yeah, uh, we've had, obviously... Some pieces happening at the club. Yeah. yeah Christmas, just, New Year. Everything, yeah. everything. <laughs> can't remember the, like, what day it was, but uh, obviously we played Le- uh, Eastie twice. Yeah. Home and away. Yeah. Home game wasn't too bad, I felt. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I think... Um, I was talking to somebody about these games earlier today, actually, because of the fact that we had the quick turnaround and how different the two games were when you play that game on Boxing Day. Yeah. And you draw one on when you probably you probably should have won. And you get that late equaliser, but on the balance of play, we probably should have won that game. Yeah. And then less than a week later, we go down and we're two 0 down after ninety seconds. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Quick turnaround, isn't it? Against yeah. the same opposition. Same opposition. Yeah. yeah. Different pitch on grass. Yeah. But yeah, listen, it wasn't the best Christmas fo- football wise no. for us, was it? No. So, uh, and then straight after that, we had uh, Oldham at home. Yeah. Oldham at home, and uh, that was a little bit of a. Uh, I don't know what you can call that. A bit of a. <laughs> it's a weird one again, isn't it? Because we did dominate the ball, and yet I know. Not all of our passes are progressive passes, but there's a hell of a lot in, of them in there when you end up having 69% of the possession of the game. Yeah. But, I mean, everything they hit went in. Yeah. Um, any sort of lapse of concentration or mistake we made was punished. Yeah. Um, mm, yeah. And they ended up scoring five. Definitely, um, yeah. And it never felt like a 5-1 game at any one point, but that's the ruthlessness of some of these sides when they get on top, isn't it? They just, you can see their confidence grows. Yeah. And, and grows and grows throughout the game, can't? And they they know that they're in the ascendancy then. And and unfortunately for us, there was no sort of famous Dorking comeback in the second half, was there? Attacking our fans and stuff. Yeah. There was a brief spell after half time, uh, but then that fourth goal where the referee went to blow twice when and then yeah. took the whistle out of his mouth, it just completely killed us off. Well, it? that was on Bobby Joe, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah over the far yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. yeah they like you say, you know that. Again, I know we keep repeating ourselves. We are learning in this league and we just le- need to learn that, you know, as Mark keeps saying as well, defensively, we've just got to be a bit more secure. Yeah. And as I keep saying as well, hard to beat. That is my, that is my, uh, w- like, word of the, of the season. Be hard yeah. to beat, like, yeah. or sentence of the season. Yeah. And, uh, but listen. <clears throat> We're still doing okay. Yeah. We yeah. got we beat Kidderminster in the trophy. Yeah. Yeah. We got the draw come out today. Yeah. yeah. Obviously we've got all the shot. Uh, we play them on the fourth. Yeah. And then the following week we play them again. Yeah. But at, twice yeah. at their place. That's right, at their place, yeah. I think the draw. I think both teams will be happy with the draw. You think? Yeah. 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 The reason why all the shot beat us three 0 was it three 0 yeah, They did. Yeah. At our place, so they're going to be a bit confident. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, the other thing I think as well is that um, by the stage we play them in the trophy, we will have played a few more league games by then. And if our confidence is up and we we've got another nine or ten points by that point, yeah, we'll start to feel. We're a bit more secure in the league now. Yeah. We can really throw a lot at this trophy game. Definitely. Um, because we're only three games, is it, from Wembley? Yeah. You know, and, three and again, from Wembley. the way the draw's gone, there's lots of National League sides, obviously, um, because the average of the National League sides in the competition is obviously high, but that are going to be out. Because Definitely. you've got all National League ties against one another. Um, South End against York. Um potentially Torquay against Barnet. Yeah. So more are going to go out by that stage. And, and somebody else is going to, somebody, a, a different name is going to be on that cup this year. Uh, the holders are out. And yeah. the top three, top are four, out. I think, in the, in the, yeah, Wokey's out. Just out. Looking at your table there. Yeah. yeah. County's Council. out. Wrexham's out. Wokey's out. Chesterfield's out. Yeah. 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 So I think yeah. at the main, at the moment, I would say, me personally, South End the favourites. Would you, based on their form and who's left yeah, in the competition in, their, in the league? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got to be South End, Eastleigh, well, Barnet. I yeah. beg your pardon, probably Barnet. Yeah. Barnet are the, the favourites. They're the highest placed National League side yeah. left in it, aren't they? And yeah. I know that their fans are quite confident of, of a 
of a potential trip to Wembley because they're doing so well in the league as well. They're yeah. up there in the playoff places. So, and they, they've really turned around under their, their manager who's just signed a new contract. So Yeah, three year one. Yeah. So um, so they'll be they'll be well up for that. Definitely, yeah, a hundred percent. Right, just we quickly go through what's the games coming up because yeah, yeah. I'm saying we got uh, Gateshead away this uh, Saturday. Yeah. Then we're at home. No, we got Boreham Oh, Wood. no, then we got Boreham Wood away. Tuesday. Yeah. Away. Yeah. And then we got Soddy Old Moors at home. Yeah. And then we got all the shop yeah. away. Yeah. So I'm going to say out of those four games, if we get five points, mm-hmm. I'll be quite happy with that. Yeah. If we yeah. got six, yeah. that would be even better. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be easy, is it? Because again, it's it's tough. It's tough on the squad with the Gateshead game, and then the, again the quick turnaround the Tuesday night away again, although not as far, and then the home game, and obviously the trophy game now means that the um, South End League game will have to be moved again, won't it? Yeah. It's going to be due to be on the television. So, yeah. um, and all of those games are still in the month. It's such a long month. It's, isn't a, it? it's <laughs> unbelievable. It's such a busy month. The whole game is right at the end of the month, but it's. Uh, January's been absolutely feels like it already it's gone on forever and we're only halfway through 100% yeah so uh, and we'll sit we'll just say I know everybody knows but we're sitting in 16th place on yeah. 30 points the last the last uh, relegation spot is held by Gateshead mm-hmm. and they're on 22 so obviously we've got an 8 8 yeah. point buffer so and my my I believe 45 will keep us up yeah Oh, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. That's what I'm predicting. Yeah. Forty-five. Yeah. Uh, so we're talking about three more, three more wins, five more wins. I beg your pardon. Yeah, and we've got plenty of home games left as well. Yeah, we? five more wins, and yeah. uh, we're playing teams around us, aren't we? We've got to play Gateshead. Yeah. We've got to play Aldershot. Torquay to come to uh, Meadowbank. Torquay. Yeah. Touchwood if they they are still a club to Meadowbank. Well, that's another thing as well. Scunthorpe do what? Yeah. Go wind up. Yeah. Who knows what's going to happen? There could be only three going down. Who knows what? what ramifications that's going to have in terms of the points from the teams that have already played against them or, or what happens with that. Who knows? Who yeah. knows? And let's hope it doesn't because that would be yeah. awful for them and their fans. We've got them on the last day of the season. Know, yeah, so, so if it really, know, yeah. if it, if it, <laughs> it'd be quite funny if it, like, I wouldn't want it happening, but if it did happen, say, worst yeah. scenario, we could have a Saturday off and watching teams if we are, if, yeah, if it could be know, dodgy, it'd be, know, you know what I mean? Know. Squeaky I bottom time. But yeah, yeah, hopefully yeah, it won't be like it that. It doesn't come to that. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, right, okay. I think that's really, we covered. I think we have, mate. Yeah. Covered the, all the games we have. we've, we've seen uh, and the games that are coming up. The draw, we've got the FA Trophy draw. Yeah. We talk, spoke about that. And obviously the league. So, uh, yeah. I still, I'm still... Oh, one think, thing to mention, Gaz, cool, mate. is that I went on the Gateshead podcast last night. Right. And the two fellas on there were glad to hear that you were still alive because when you did the Gateshead game yeah. at Medibank, apparently you kept getting electrocuted by the microphone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was murder. They, that were, was... they were so pleased to hear and see that you were still going strong because oh. that was that was their memory from that. Was that like was you, a shocker. You kept getting, literally a literally shocker. Literally a shocker. You kept getting electrocuted by the microphone. Couldn't so they were really it. pleased to hear... And see that you're still going strong. I'm still here. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll be listening to you yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. I'll be watching the game on telly. So, yeah, they were, they were uh, yeah. pleased about that, mate. Yeah, that's very kind of you guys. I'm still here. Some people aren't happy I'm still here, but anyway. <laughs> right. That's our bit done. Yes. Let's move into our first, well, our, our next guest, our first guest of 2023. Definitely. Yeah. 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 So we have got James McShane. <laughs> Right, James, we've got our special guest with us. Yeah. James McShane, how are you, my friend? Very well, thank you, mate. Well, someone did say earlier they wanted some music in each, each, each section of the, the show, so I thought I'd bring my little bit of music. Yeah. And so we'll play this for him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would be a nice bit of music for you there, James. <laughs> mate, that, isn't it? <laughs> a nice intro for our post band. <laughs> anyway, go, that's all sorted out. <laughs> so how are you keeping, my friend? All good. All good. 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 Enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, well, apart from the obvious, but yeah. Yeah, because I've, well, I've got to talk to you about something, because you, you're captain when Fuller's not around, Barry Fuller's not around. And I think it was the Eastley game, because you're very, very calm, very quiet, very mellow sort of fella, aren't you? Yeah. You yeah, come yeah. across, that's Quite how you back, yeah, yeah. Yeah, lay back. Then. Wise, yeah. But then, on the pitch, I saw you, you, you punched the ground three times, 
and you looked around at someone or the whole team and you just gave them a volley. And I thought, wow, I've never seen James like that before. Yeah, I, do I don't know if you remember think, that. Yeah, yeah, I do remember the exact situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just frustration, guys, you know, like, I don't know, it's tough, really. Like, we're so used to winning, so used to being on the front foot. And that day was obviously, as you know, seven seconds in. Minute and thirty nine seconds in, you're two 0 down. It's frustration got the better of me. Yeah, no, but, um, it's yeah. nice to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think because I always been saying we're too nice well, as I a think, team. Yeah, I we think, are. Um, yeah, yeah. Mark mentioned it after the game, didn't he? Oh, did he? Because he said something about even Macca was shouting at no, it was Nicky Wheeler or somebody to yeah. press, and they weren't pressing yeah. one yeah, of the yeah. goals. And maybe it was from that moment because yeah, yeah, I know that situation. Yeah, that was just after the yeah. actual situation Gaz was on about. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. just. Yeah, but we are too nice, aren't we? We are too nice. Yeah, yeah. I think it just goes back to being streetwise as well, you know, like the little things, little fouls, higher up pitch, taking them. But yeah, like you say, we're too nice, just let it happen. Does anyone get you like pinch the back of your legs or something like that, or ball your shirt or? We- no, I've been, no, I've been alright. Because that's the name of the game, isn't it? You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, that low, low down the leagues, we've had that lots of times. Have you this year? No, no that's why. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, you, so the see as the season's gone, I still think we're having a good season. Yeah, I mean. The aim is obviously to stay up, isn't it? But yeah. I know we all don't like saying that, but that's Fact. at the end of the day, that's that's the aim. If we do that, we've we've done well being part time in a full time league. So hundred percent. Yeah, I think we've we've done all right on a, obviously trophy run as well. So that's it's a good little um, side. Yeah, side bit to and then so. yeah, obviously yeah. You know, in my opinion, if we if we got to the we got through the next round and we stayed up, I think that'd be a brilliant year for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You obviously want to go as far as you can, isn't it? Yeah. But, Obviously, getting to Wembley would be nice. Well, if you got to Wembley and stayed up, well, that'd be... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could, well, you couldn't say no more, could you? No. Nah, right. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, uh, yeah, what do you think of the draw, then? Uh, yeah, I mean, you'd, you'd rather play someone that's not in your league. Um, but it's winnable, I suppose. Yeah. I think both teams... There. I said to the lads, I think both teams would be happy. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they beat us 3-0, yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So they're going to be quite think they, oh, confident with that. But I think, as James did say earlier... We're going to be playing more games to put the time we yeah, play them. Yeah, yeah. And if we can get some wins under our belt there, Definitely. we're going to go there. And I think we go there confident anyway. Yeah, we could beat anyone on our day, guys. Exactly. You know, we've beaten Notts County at home. We've, we've, been, we've had a few scouts this year. Obviously, we get players back as well. Bricksy, yeah. Bricksy's on the way back, which should be huge for us. Josh Taylor, hopefully, yeah. soon as well. So get a few players back. Yeah, no, no reason why we can't beat them. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we've covered the trophy stuff. So probably there's not a lot of, well, that's one of the reasons why we're doing this, because there's not a lot that Dawkins sort of supporters probably don't really know much about you, really. So how did you come to, because obviously that picture cropped up recently of you being yeah, yeah. Um, a youngster playing in Scotland. Okay, that one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so how did that, how did it come about then? Tell us about like your early routes through in playing football and then moving down to England and stuff like that. Uh, so I was born and bred in England. Parents really? moved down before I was born. Um the Abbey Rangers as a youngster growing up Fulham for a few years um, got let go and then was at Staines Academy but um, when I left school and my ambition was to, to go up and play up, up in Scotland and, was it? Mm-hmm. yeah got a move to Clyde right. um, YTS there a couple of years Colin Henry was the manager at the time first team manager um, yeah and then Clyde for YTS for a couple of years and then the head of youth um Got the assistant manager's job at East Stirling, which was a couple of levels below where I was. Yeah. And he sort of sold the dream to me. And so I followed him there. And yeah, I was there for a year or so. And then. So were you just up there on your own then? Like in Dix? Uh, family were up there. Okay. Um, Mum and dad yeah. down here, but I've got yeah. a big extended family. She so still uh-huh. lives up there as well. So right. I was staying with her at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then it just come about. And then. Were you full time or part time up there? Uh, full time. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. I looked on the Wikipedia. Look, I haven't got a Wikipedia, uh, wiki, wiki page. No, you? no. Luckily, I haven't. No. no, I was trying to find some information about you, mate. I couldn't find nothing about you. <laughs> yeah, nothing on there, mate. Anonymous. Yeah, anonymous. anonymous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Best way to be. <laughs> Definitely. So, where were you born? You were born what town? You were born in Chertsey. Chertsey. Yeah, you were yeah. born in Chertsey, yeah. and your yeah, mum and dad obviously Chelsea. born in Scotland. Yeah, born in Scotland. They moved down. Um, I don't know. It must be forty years ago now. Before I was born. Sure. Um. Yeah, so born and bred here, and then I've always wanted to play up there. Have um, you? Yeah. What was it, what was that for? What, what what was the reason for that? I don't know. I don't know really. Obviously, we used to like childhood. He was up there a lot. Six weeks holiday, used to go up there all the time. Um, yeah, just obviously I'm a Celtic fan. It was just. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
that I wanted to um yeah, just wanted to go about. You've been to the old firm derby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been a few of them, yeah. Been a few, yeah. Yeah, but they're fun. Yeah, they were fun, yeah. Back in the day. When, yeah, when you yeah. win, they're fun, but not when you lose. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Going back to Dorking, you know, I don't know how many games you've played. Do you know how many games you played for Dorking? Coming up for 300, I believe. 300. Yeah, coming up. And you scored 100 goals the other week. Yep. You know, that. you must be pleased, uh, as a personal, you must, for yourself, that 300 appearances and 100 goals. You must feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a striker, because you're not, you're not a striker, not an out and out striker, are you really? No, no. Now we you... attacking midfielder, I'd class myself. <laughs> yeah, 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 there we go then. There we go. You were attack... that, that what you call yourself? Yeah, yeah. If I said yeah. you, that's oh, right. There we go. Yeah. So I thought you might have been yeah. So there we go. I mean, now so attacking midfielder, 100 goals in 300 appearances. It's not too yeah, bad. That's a good ratio, yeah. Not bad, Three is it? Three games, yeah, nice. No, and I'm not, and I'm not being rude. You're not the tallest. You're not the biggest. And you know what I mean. You just like, get, yeah, you yeah. get in those nice little pockets. Right and place at the right time. Exactly. Yeah. So um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, fox in the box. The odd screamer now and again, but not very often. Yeah. So obviously, because you've been at Dorking such a long time, and obviously you played at West Ham and stuff. How does it? How does that feel sometimes? Do you, do you stop and pinch yourself and think, oh, I can't believe how far we've come from oh, yeah, those, I mean, that the, pitch, yeah, those yeah. changing rooms, <laughs> some of those opponents to where we are now and what and how we're you know, who were competing Yeah, the, actual, the story of the club, as everyone knows, is, yeah. is incredible. It's obviously, the, I believe, the best in British football. Yeah. Um, but I was speaking to the gaffer. We was actually on the Chesterfield, at Chesterfield on the pitch. Yeah. And coach pulled up, and it's obviously a massive ground. And, yeah. like, and we, me and the gaffer speaking on the pitch. He's like, like, a couple of years ago, we'd pull up, no disrespect to these clubs, but we'd pull up to, like, South Park and yeah. places yeah. like that. And yeah. now we're at, yeah. it's just the surroundings you're in is... Yeah. is Obviously, Parish of or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And cold yeah. Ramsgate, Sitting ball. Ramsgate, Ramsgate or something like that. All them, yeah. 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 And Hello, you find yeah. yourself at, at Chesterfield and Oldham yeah. and Notts County. It's, the rise of the club is, is incredible. Because yes. it, do I like, how old are you, mate? 32. Yeah, it's, on, I looked you up, it said 29. I thought you ain't 29. Oh, I'll take that. But you look young, yeah, you look a young, young, <laughs> young 32. Baby face, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully but, that serves me well in the future when I'm older. But. So do you, your body-wise, do you think, because, you know, you, how long do you think you could go on for? I feel quite so you fit, fall like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch wood, I haven't had many injuries. I had yeah. one injury last year, hamstring, but... You haven't done major injuries, have you? No. Well, to be honest, I've got no muscles to have injuries, have I? So <laughs> that's always a plus. <laughs> fair enough, mate. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, right, some of, the, some of our young lads are out on loan, you know, for the Dorking Wanderers. What was your the advice be for them, like, to get through the divisions and, you know, end up where you are, like? Yeah, just work hard. Um, work hard, work at your game and training and stuff. And it's, it's, to be honest, like, at Dorking, it's... It's, the way we play is so unique. You just it's hard to <laughs> yeah. like you see it with the new boys that come in. They find it so hard, and I think that's why we've had such a core player together for so long because the way we play is so unique that it's it's just hard to get to grips with, you know. Really. So especially at a club like Dorking, you've just got to, just got to listen to what the gaffer wants and work hard at it, and hopefully fingers crossed you get your chance. Do you obviously use a practice on your own and? Like left foot, right foot, or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to used to be in the garden, um, bugging my dad. Sort of, he would take my left, take my no, take my right boot off, make me kick it with my left foot Brilliant. against the wall, just constant against the wall, against the wall, against the wall. Hundred um, percent. Yeah, that, that does that does you know. I don't understand why young people don't do that. But both feet, yeah, because yeah, yeah. if you're both footed, you're going to be a little bit higher up than the guy behind you. Do you got to get the ball on his right or yeah, get the ball on his yeah, left? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it makes a massive difference, especially at the higher up the levels you go. So yeah. you get less time, you've got to shift definitely quickly and use your weaker foot. Yeah, massive difference. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've seen a massive amount, and a massive amount has changed. Um, what are your personal highlights? Not just at Dorking, but in your entire career. Uh, Stalking's not the only team that you played for, is it? And in you came from Molesy, didn't you? Yeah, I was at Molesy for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was like a that was a good time as well. It's just a good bunch of mates. We we're just all mates playing football. Yeah. Um, yeah, good. I was. I think I'm about 15 goals short of record goal scorer at Molesy. I scored 100 goals mm. for them as well. Um, so. That's going 100 goals for them would be yeah. an achievement. Obviously, yeah. my professional debut in Scotland, that was 
uh-huh. a great achievement for me. Yeah. Um, Scottish Cup, believe it or not, played against Rangers. Did you? Know? Arch enemy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was not. I didn't play. Obviously, I was only 17, but I was on the bench. And uh-huh. I think I'm on, but just being in the, that oh, experience, wow. that yeah, environment, yeah, was, yeah, was good. Um, yeah, and obviously, 100 goals for Dorking. Yeah. Who was playing with Rangers? Eh? Not Gaza. No, no, no. I'm not that old. Yeah, Gaza. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, really old. How old Gather? He looks really old, Gather. He looks really old, Gather. He looks old now, yeah. He looks just old. bad. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, obviously, I'm just talking about the advice that you gave the players, the young lads, you know, keep practicing, keep working. What, what, What's the best advice you've had for someone? By someone? Throw your boots away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Again, with that advice. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, good question, yeah. Nothing, nothing no, comes nothing out? Really, nothing. Not even up in Scotland, anyone from Scotland? No, nothing really stands out, to be honest. Um, Fair enough. No, just, just work hard at your games. You get it yourself. I lacked, I lacked physically, um, so the, probably the worst part, bit of advice I got was go to the gym, so which I didn't do. So, um, But nothing stands out, really. No. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. James, you got anything else? Yeah, yeah, I've got loads, mate. So, you kind of, you've touched on about uh, advice for people making their way through um, the divisions. Um, you've obviously achieved loads at Dorking. You've gone through, the, you've won uh, divisions, got promoted, playing in the National League now. What is your, uh, we've had a question, it's a bit more specific a question. What is your actual, like, what is your goal in football? And that, has you reached the point where you think this is as good as it gets? Or do you think that moment might still come yet? Uh, yeah, hopefully that moment yeah. still comes. Obviously, when I signed um, for the club, uh, my goal was to help Dorking get to the top of non-league football, mm-hmm. which which we've achieved. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you say, I don't want to stop there. I want it to there to be something else. But whether that's in my time at the club, I doubt it very much. But hopefully, mm-hmm. hopefully there's something else that will come. But um, are you looking with your coach? Would you do your badges and coach? Uh, I've got the first two badges. Um, but something that, yeah, would probably... You'd be interested in interested doing a bit in, of going, in coaching. Doing, but, yeah, I think I've got a few more years left to think about that. Yeah. <coughs> about a manager? No, nah, not a manager, no. No, nah. couldn't do that. No. Nah. Nah. Assistant manager would be all right. Yeah, you yeah, Don't yeah. take the flack. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to deal with all the media. Don't have to deal with people like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit in, the, sit in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, it's all about managers... Uh, someone's asked a question what's it what's it really like working on, under Mark I know you can't go too mad about him but uh, and also does he do drills does he do any drills and training or whatever does yeah he... he's taking a few drills yeah yeah he's Has taking he really? a few drills takes us for a warm up every now and again does he tell you about his playing days oh, oh I've heard about his playing oh, days yeah he's left foot yeah, yeah. yeah. wonder the left foot he gets foot. it out sometimes in training doing his penalties and stuff he likes his penalties and screws it out yeah winds it up yeah then he swings it yeah. Um, yeah he takes drills he, uh, he's yeah he's good to work for. I enjoy it he's, he's, he's got the banner he's got he's, but then he can switch straight into game mode it's um, I mean that, that, that again going back that takes a lot of getting used to because he's in the change room laughing joking before and you've got to switch into game mode and he knows that and mm. like if you're not around the gap for so long like so it, will, it will take time to get used to that but sure. the boys that have been there for a while obviously know that and, yeah but um, yeah it's, it's good to work is there ever a point sometimes where you say to people that have come in don't worry about it you get used to it uh, yeah because obviously it's been you've been there for times. a long time yeah, yeah. And sometimes you might have those conversations in the change room don't worry about it Cafe. yeah yeah you'll get used to it yeah he's, yeah. Don't, yeah he's don't good point don't yeah. sort of like uh, yeah, don't get think, too low. Don't, get... Think or, don't think about getting too low or this isn't for me. <laughs> don't take it with personally it sort of and, thing. And it'll it yeah, yeah. be absolutely fine. Because one of Gaffer's big things is like sort of eye contact in yeah, team, talks and team talks and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Like a few of the new lads, you just sort of see them sort of uh, during the team talk, the Gaffer will say a name and yeah. the, the person will sit up like thinking he's done something wrong or something. Yeah. But little things like that, yeah, it, it takes a while to, yeah. to get used to what he yeah. likes. and and also, I would expect to get, get to use, there's only one man talking as well, because most clubs you go to, there's at least two people in the change room saying something. Yeah. And Mark does it all, doesn't he, from yeah, start yeah. to finish. Yeah, yeah. And you've got to get used to 
you could switch off, but you can't switch off. You've got to be. No, you've got to be on it. Yeah. Got, you've got to be on it. Yeah. Some, you know, it's easier to switch mm-hmm. off if you're listening to the same person for like 20 Constant. minutes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, because so, uh, his attention to detail is is incredible. Like, so the team talks might go on for a bit longer than what some players that come in are used to. But because we're part, going back to being part time as well, it's team talks are so attention to detail is incredible and yeah, every, you know everything about every little. And do you think that's because he doesn't or, have the time to do that through the week? So yeah, yeah. So the time we to get together is really them. short. So yeah, yeah. If we, if we obviously if we was full time or hybrid or whatever, we would have that time during the day to yeah. to sort of do most of his talking. And then yeah. when it's game day, if we, yeah. everyone knows everything. But yeah. because we're part time, we haven't got that luxury. So team talks are longer than what. It's noticeable what sometimes on that is that you may go back into the change room a little bit earlier than the opposition sometimes. Some of those full-time teams, yeah, they yeah, kind yeah. of go away towards where their fans are yeah. and sort of clap their fans and they, they take that slow walk back because they're almost match ready. They're ready, ready, yeah, to, go, ready to go. Whereas yeah. you've yeah. gone back in to have that last bit of uh, yeah. team talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So obviously yeah. they do their analysis again yeah. during the week. Yeah, um, yeah. And we, get, we get that Tuesday, Thursday evening and that little time on a Saturday. Mm. Was Unbelievable. So, yeah. so if they've changed someone on the team sheet or something... Yeah. And, we got adjust it there and then, yeah. whereas they have adjusted it already. They've got yeah. their plans in front of yeah. them. They know what they're going to yeah. do. Yeah, it's all about full time. You know, hopefully they do go full time next season. I think you know, I think they will need to go full time. To be fair, there's a lot of questions to be asked for the players as well, isn't there? Because obviously some yeah. of them have got real good jobs, yeah, yeah. good wages. Yeah, have they got the time to do it? You know, it's going to be quite. A, yeah, there's a this lot of summer, yeah. this summer is going to be quite a lot of questions to ask the players, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, like you say, jobs, like ages of people as well. Like my, for me, like, do I do it? I probably could, but age-wise, does it suit me? Does it suit families? Mm. You've got, to, yeah, you've got to factor in loads of things. Loads so, of things, isn't there, mate? It's not just a decision you can make. No, if like you're 22, you don't even get the fish, yeah. isn't it? I'm sure everyone would love to play full time football. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. like Briggsy, for example, he's not going to leave his job as he was. No, no, no. Uh, so, yeah, so there's a right. few a lot of questions to be asked. Yeah. A lot of, you know, yeah. it's not just something you can do overnight. Can you yeah. can you do it like like part time, full time? If you understand what I mean, do like a few mornings. Yeah, like a hybrid sort. Of thing, yeah, you said like, hybrid. Yeah. 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 What's the, what? I never uh, heard that. So uh, yeah, when I was at Stains. Uh, we was they was uh, sort of one morning, a Monday morning, and a Tuesday and Thursday mm-hmm. evenings. Okay. So it was yeah. It's bizarre. It's just, there must be a few teams that do that though, aren't they? I think I'd imagine there, there is. Yeah, yeah. Few yeah. That I'd sort imagine of thing because sure. they're they're, sat there alluding to the fact that they're full time, but there's sessions that are going on throughout the week, and players can go into them and do yeah, bits yeah, and pieces yeah. as well. Yeah. That um, but still work. I think it's inevitable. You, yeah. you need to go in this yeah. league to to compete. Yeah. You need to go full time. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, and even going with Beardy, like you know, what I mean, he, he works during the day. If someone can drop off and do go there during the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When That's they get what he told us, wasn't it? That he yeah, got sessions and players come in. Yeah, um, yeah. To do yeah. sessions with him during the week. During the week. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I think they done a Monday morning for like yeah. boys that could get there. Yeah, yeah. Done it, but oh. it obviously was optional. So, right. This is an interesting question because I. Like I said, we look at you. You're very mellow. You're laid back. You're very softly spoken. You put put your kit on and you you're ratted up, mate. You've got tattoos coming out everywhere, <laughs> coming out your ears everywhere. It's so, odd man English guest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And was it you that said that tattoos don't equal like hooligans and bucks? Well, I can't what they do. Yeah. <laughs> like throwing plastic chairs around. You know, I was brought up it was. Uh, but yeah, I think it was you that said there was a picture of you like early in the career. No, not many tattoos, but now you've got loads on your legs, and everything. Yeah. So what, what what's that all about? Fiction. Is uh, it? Yeah. Uh, well, when my first uh, son was born, uh, I wanted his name on me. Um, so I got it. Okay, got, got, his, got his, yeah, and his date of birth. <laughs> I look at my leg to check his date of birth. For his birthday. Um, yeah, so I uh, wanted his, my son's name on me, and, and it turned into <laughs> getting covered in tattoos. I just, just got addicted to it. How, was it. how many hours have you been on the old couch for that, please? God knows. Yeah, look. Well, how much it costs? Don't say because your wife might be listening. Yeah, don't tell. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got a favourite? Uh, no. 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 Like, yeah, just just like tattoos. To be honest, yeah. you got it on your body. Yeah, people say that to me. They say, well, "What does tattoos mean?" Yeah, it means I like tattoos. Yeah, because yeah. normally the reason why you have a tattoo in it, it's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but no, just yeah, just got a dick. just on your legs, on your arms. Is that it? Legs, arms. Um, 
round ribs yeah wow so you're old you're pain uh yeah don't don't feel pain too much oh yeah absolutely kills you oh, yeah. <laughs> especially there <yeah. laughs> no the back of knee was the worst was it yeah i nearly had to tap out with that one but did you really but, uh, no. <laughs> over to you mike yeah um uh, we get asked this question a bit actually we asked it to alfie as well um who would be in your five-a-side team of a team that you've played with? Five-a-side team. And Alfie just chucked five names out, and then I thought about it. I thought, probably wouldn't be the best five-a-side team. Yeah, because yeah, um, obviously five-a-side's a yeah, completely totally different, different game. game it? So yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you've got your players like Briggsy that yeah. he's not a five-a-side no. player. You know, he's not, <laughs> he's not <laughs> enough space to run into. He'll run out, he? wouldn't he? By the time he's at full speed, he'll be off the, the gate. gate. And then <laughs> the gate, yeah, see you later, mate. Um, yeah, so so I played with uh, Dawkins. Just go with Dawkins. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. goalie Slav. Yeah. Don't think anyone's scoring against him in a five-a-side game. No, uh, oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> um, you need someone on the that's good on the ball at the back. Good. Dan Gallagher. Yeah. Chris Bowl. Yeah, body on the line. Yeah. But, He's yeah. not a five-a-side player, though. Yeah. But this five-a-side team, we're not defending. We're just... Yeah. Oh, right. We're just, just, yeah, just, normal, then. Yeah, yeah. Just normal. Yeah, just, like, yeah. Normal Saturday days. Like, wanderers. Yeah. Wanderers <laughs> five-a-side team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to throw this back. Billy Medlock. Remember Billy Medlock? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he would be a great five-a-side yeah. player. Um, he was good on the ball. Uh, Are you in it? No, nah, I'm not going to be in it. I'm <laughs> not going to be in it. No. <laughs> What's that? Do Dan Gallagher, Billy Medlock, Slav, Slav and Goal. Uh, Who's your striker? B Croft. Yeah. Jake B Croft. Yeah. He's good. He's yeah. good on the ball. Good five side player. A striker's got to be tough. Yeah. But I thought it might be tough. Yeah, I thought it might be tough. Still goal playing. machine. Is he still yeah, playing? Yeah, he still is he? plays. Uh, is he? Unfortunately, YMCA. Yeah, because he was at Three Bridges, wasn't he? Yeah, he's at YM now. Yeah. Hanging yeah. the goals in there, is he? He still plays. Yeah. Yeah, his bum got any bigger. <laughs> Absolute goal machine, him, wasn't he? Wasn't he just the yeah. goal scorer, especially in the five side? Yeah, would be, yeah. I think he's leading goal scorer, is he, for Dawkins? He's got yeah, a bit. I think he is, yeah. yeah. Be interesting to see what he's got. Yeah, I think he would be. See if yeah. he's catchable or not. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The records probably didn't start then, though, yeah. did they? Yeah, I know, yeah. So, here's a little one here for you. <laughs> after, the, after the playoffs <laughs> final. How did you feel when Alfie poured pour beer over your head? We think we know it anyway, but what, what, what was your thought going through your head, mate? Do you know what? I just wanted to kill him. <laughs> I hate the taste of beer. Oh, you don't drink? Yeah, don't drink beer. No. no, no. You drink or you don't drink? Yeah, I drink, yeah, but don't like, don't like beer. Don't like the taste of it. And that's all I could taste. Oh, that's wow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I wanted to kill him, to be honest, guess. <laughs> he didn't answer your question either. No, he didn't. He no, didn't I didn't answer that. it. Yeah. He sort of shied away from answering that, yeah. that one, didn't make, he? Make sure yeah. we get our answers. Before. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I've got a little one for you. Obviously, we've been in the National League, and you know, what is so far the season's gone? We've played all the teams now, really. Uh, hardest defender you've had, or hardest player that's been marking you. What, which one have you found out in, in this league? Can you think of anyone offhand? Uh, or they're all, just, all the same, really? Yeah, I sort of, I've sort i been playing a lot of midfield. I've been playing a lot deeper this year, so mm. I haven't really been up against a defender as such. But player-wise, um, I think Wrexham's midfield, their pressing was unbelievable. Mm. got no time whatsoever. Mm. I don't even, can't even remember the, the midfielder's name, to be honest. They said captain. Um, his press was unbelievable. Literally... Check your shoulder and he's 10 yards away. But the time he got the ball, he's, he's there. Yeah. Um, so probably him. Um, I think he's young, is it young? Yeah, young. He is young. Yeah, yeah. Ben. I um, think, yeah. yeah, he's young, definitely. So him, midfield wise, would probably be. But um, I was impressed with the Oval's defence. There's just three solid yeah. defenders that just didn't move. And, <laughs> and they were probably centre arse, weren't yeah, they? Yeah. yeah. Big and strong. Well, they all are in this league. Well, that's yeah. another thing, isn't it? The, the players are like six foot odd and. Yeah. People like yeah. an outhouse. All athletes as well. They are athletes. And they not, are athletes. Not, not six foot odd that, like, no disrespect to lower leagues, that they couldn't run or couldn't move. These boys could. Yeah, Alfie, said athletes, exactly same, yeah, yeah. Alfie said exactly the same, didn't yeah. he? Alfie said exactly the same thing. Did you feel on Saturday, did a minister of them? You could, did you feel they were a little bit different from you to them? Because when watching the game, 
watching the game, it, it looked like we had moved up a little bit. Like I, not I, strength on the ball. It just felt that we, they were in National L- L- League North yeah. and we were in the National League. It felt. Yeah, I think obviously because we're getting used to the way the National League teams play now, and you just, you just got to match it every week. And I think that showed Saturday that we sort of competed that way and Saturday was tough to be fair we yeah. were trying to play out but we went quite long yeah, so the gap in the field scores was so we was good doing doggies had to get shallow to try and play out but we didn't so we had to go long and nick the second balls and that but it was tough but um, yeah it just shows you we can compete for, for that yeah. So. Yeah. do you feel some of the games the ball's been going over your head a lot oh definitely yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. obviously I've, I, again I've been playing deeper this year as well um I'd rather be playing further forward, but um, playing deeper, it's just more of watching the ball going over your head, and just nicking the second balls. And as someone said this to me the other the other day that it, in the build up to the like Wanderers when we plan out stuff, I haven't really been involved as much as I have been in previous yeah. seasons and stuff. Um, but that totally contradicts the amount of goals I've scored as well. So, that's so, it. That's the yeah, brilliant. That's, yeah, yeah. that's the, the brilliance of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know the ball. I'm not being rude. I commentate sometimes, and the ball goes over your head, and you start, then you then you'll pop up somewhere, yeah, and yeah. you say, "Well, you know, McChain's like just got the ball, but they keep going over his head, yeah. and the next minute, bang! Hopefully, you get a goal or whatever." Yeah, there's a few games that just you sort don't celebrate of your goals, goals, do you? Really, it's a bit of a shearer. Like no, a, yeah, just because oh, yeah, some yeah, of the you have got yeah. some of the cracking goals at home. I can't remember the one. It was Weldy. And you just sort of, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Well, postmen so. don't celebrate when they deliver mail, do they, guess so? Right. <laughs> well, speaking of Dougie, sure, job. he's been three days about mail, mate, Dougie. <laughs> yeah, Dougie Hall did say, oh, you're a postman, can you work in Bill? <laughs> Dougie, <laughs> Dougie has not had his post for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> can you just drop down and yeah, for him? over there later on. Yeah, yeah. transfer. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got, James? Uh, who, in your opinion, is up there as the best player in the league? Best player in the league, um, Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah. When we played him. against him, Notts County, yeah. Yeah, he was he was on a different he was on a different level. He was. Um, you had an all right game against Notts County, though, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> free tapping. <laughs> I take that. Um, yeah, Rodriguez for me has been the standout so yeah. far. There's been a few, obviously. Um, who was the the lad at? Uh, what Chesterfield? Yeah, was yeah. Do 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 bro, do do bro, do bro. Yeah, yeah. He was another one, wasn't he? Yeah, he wound me up though. He's when he scored, he ran over to our fans, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I was watching it on the stream, and he ran to the fans, and nobody could understand why. Yeah, about twenty twenty Wanderers fans. What are you doing? I said to him when he was walking back from like past us, "What are you doing? There's twenty odd fans over there. What are you lost your head? Like, obviously he's a bad player, and you know what I mean." What did he say? Nothing. Yeah. Oh, right, so he meant it then? Yeah, yeah, there was obviously, yeah. I don't know, was you there that came? No, I didn't go to that one. I was, was watching on the stream that one. He was getting sick or... Was, yeah, that, but yeah. He, he I think the ones that, that were there couldn't understand why yeah. he'd done that either. strange. Because they really haven't sort strange. of said anything. No. Nah. Obviously he's played in front of bigger away really followers than that, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 Is there much... Is there much like banter winding up in this league? You don't really see it. You don't see it that no, much. No, it's not been. Not a lot of pushing, not a lot of handbags. It's no. like everybody gets on with their business and yeah. their, talk, their, their play or their whatever they do does the talking. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's not been, not been any of that. No, no, yeah, fair enough. Another question we've had, it came through this afternoon, actually. I think you might know this person, Paul Cook. Okay, yeah, Cook. He yeah. asked, um, who is your footballing idol was you, when you were growing up as a kid? Uh, football and I've got, got two be, really got to be um, Celtic in it yeah one of them so lack of any it's not that old yeah. <laughs> who's he <laughs> he's my agent Martin Martin Martin. Martin. really Frank, was he Frank, Frank, no um, good night out wow yeah he loved the night yeah. out yeah yeah um, Henrik Larsson yeah it's obviously another oh, one yeah. but um, taking Celtic out of it is Zinedine Zidane yeah yeah he's my favourite you're better yeah. than him mate exactly yeah yeah, yeah. 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 my yeah. mum asked me my mum said to me can you ask him when they sing? Do you hear them singing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Join yeah. in. You sing it when you get in home. In my head, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that bugs me the most as well when my little boy comes to the game. He sings Bobby Joe's song when he goes up. 
anyone but Bobby Jack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he was, they were singing that on Saturday just when he was doing his um, exactly. sprints at the, <laughs> yeah. the end of the game. And, and I think he'd only come on for the last five minutes, so he might not even cut. I think he was like, no. a new sub. Yeah, he might not even come on. They were singing it. He, like, loves it. Oh. he absolutely <laughs> loves it, Bobby What do you think yeah. of the crowds? They've been superb, haven't they? They've been brilliant. Yeah, really good. Yeah, you know, right. I can remember like, going back to the West Dumbledore yeah. days when there's 50 odd. Exactly. Yeah, less yeah. than 100 people there. And, does that, like, so, does that spur you on, those, when they're in that shedding, singing and all that? It does, does that, yeah, it makes a big difference. Yeah, does yeah. it? Especially when you're shooting towards them second half yeah. and you've, normally yeah. we've got goals to sort of catch up with. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it makes a big difference. I'll tell you what, we have done a lot. We have, every second half, we have gone towards them, haven't yeah, we? A lot yeah, of that. Yeah. I don't know if you won the toss, because you can't tell whether we won, who's won the toss and who hasn't yeah. won the toss. I now. think we got changed around once at yeah, early on. I know which one that was. season. Well. Yeah, and I reckon I know why. Go on, just oh, field, wasn't first it? Game of season. And Sam, DJ, obviously, like, yeah, switch yeah. them around. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, first game, literally first game, because our equaliser, well, the, the two goals we scored were down the other end, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. we, obviously, when we play away, we gaffer asked us to try and change it around, but obviously you can't if you don't win the toss. Yeah. But I remember he asked me, I was captain at Eastley. Yeah. And we changed it around, it was like, Perfect. Yeah. Seven seconds later, we'll find him down. <laughs> so it did make a big difference that game, didn't it? I was definitely blamed him for that. Yeah, yeah. I think it was his fault. Um, so you support Celtic. Um, that's one of the things that we uh, we know anyway. Uh, that's a good one. Some of the good ones that came in, yeah. What's your favourite ever pair of boots and why? Only the ones that you've been wearing this season. Uh, the originals of them, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I've always been a sort of predator. I've always yeah, been predators. Predator, yeah. um, but the originals of the yeah, the well, you're man, yeah. Re, uh, the remakes. They're, they're nice. The remakes are good, but not as good as the, mm. the original. So yeah, what's your, di- predators. What's your what's your biggest, biggest disappointment in the game up to now? Uh, good question. I, I I do say that you shouldn't really have regrets in life. No. But one of my regrets is probably leaving Scotland. Probably um, probably now. Even there, yeah. You know, wear a kilt soon, didn't you? You need to wear a kilt when he plays football, didn't you? <laughs> Stereotypical, that. <laughs> oh, you got to be PC, right? <laughs> <laughs> and a ginger wig on. <laughs> well, no, Don't worry about that. No yeah. Scottish viewers watching now. We'll cut that out. Don't worry. <laughs> have, to get, have, have to get a HR summer, <laughs> won't I? Yeah. Get HR call later. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Mark's yeah. HR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you could meet anyone in the world and ask them one question, what would it be? Meet anyone in the world and ask them one question? What, alive or dead? Alive. Alive. <laughs> yeah. Harry Kane, why did you miss that penalty? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, not bad, one of the other things that Paul Cook said was, uh, you've got to give them the choice to play for Scotland or England, who would you choose? England. England, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Why? Yeah. I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> Really, no, 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 the reason I'm saying that I'm a bit, a bit, I'm a bit surprised to be fair because you, you, I felt that you were like more Scottish than English. I know you're born in England, but it doesn't matter because your parents are Scottish, so yeah, you could play no, for no. Scotland. And, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. No, but no, born and bred in England. Yeah, I went to school, school, all school, all through school in England. Sure. So, yeah, class myself as English. But not to my dad's, um, my dad hates it, but is he? Yeah, absolutely hates it. And he would be gutted if you if you did get an opportunity yeah. to play for England, yeah. wouldn't he? Yeah, that's another reason why I'd choose England, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Fair well, who's the most famous player you've ever played against? We asked Beardy this, didn't he? Didn't we? And he, oh, yeah, but he came, came out with all different ones, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Scholes. it's not as interesting as that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Batshuayi played in that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the Chelsea friendly. The Chelsea yeah. friendly? Yeah. yeah. yeah probably. Probably yeah. him, yeah. Probably yeah. Him, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to name any Rangers players. So, was there anyone else that was playing there that started to come through at Chelsea? That, yeah, some that, of the young Amari Hutchin, yeah, Hutchinson. Yeah, he was unbelievable on the day. Yeah. Um, he's got on a few times this year as well. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So probably them too. Mm-hmm. Have you they had a few out of them that day actually. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. 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 Have, have you got many Scottish supporters in Dorking? I wonder if we have. They, if they, you know. Uh, there's a steward that's a Celtic fan. Yeah. I um, forget his name. Yeah, the, the, the guy that's been down there this season, Danny Curley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him. Yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah. There's another guy that I know as well, um, Gary, who um, he's a Rangers fan. But he's oh, is he? He's Scottish. He's season to get older. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. 
<laughs> next question. We're not going to say it anymore. That's what I'm saying. I'm my tail over there. Um, let's, uh, hobbies outside of football? Uh, golf. Yeah. Are you yeah, a golfer, golf. mate? Not a fair weather golfer. Yeah. It's your handicap. Um, Clubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lowest I've been is 14, I think. Is it? Yeah. But I'm nowhere near that now. Yeah. No, funny enough, we were talking about that on Saturday with me, me and Primey. I don't know why they haven't sorted out a golf day because there's a few of you must play yeah, golf. Yeah, no, they used, used to do a golf day back in the day. Primey used yeah. to sort it out. Yeah. But yeah, so I think there's a lot more golfers now. Alfie, look at him. Alfie plays. Off of eight, he plays. Yeah. Is he really? He's yeah, he's a bit of a shark. Plays, yeah. And, and he also said that Nick Wheeler played, but he probably doesn't play too much anymore because he's under the thumb. Yeah, Nick Wheeler. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. He's fracture his wrist when he's yeah, yeah, he'll probably get injured. <laughs> <laughs> Got a few sick notes in our team, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No comment. Uh, best social member of any team you've played for who's been the most sort of going out after the game and stuff like that? Um, yeah, lad at, <laughs> lad at uh, Molesy used to play with Craig Lewinson. His, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, his, dad, yeah. his dad, Ray Lewinson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah, loves, yeah he's, he's a brilliant lad. He'll still go out in these to this day. He's, he's brilliant. Yeah, he, he loves to drink. So. Yeah. You see, keep, keep in touch with some of the Molesy boys in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a like, close knit group. We were all mates like, through school and stuff. And, oh, right. Yeah, that yeah, close. So, yeah, yeah. So we, was, we had a really close group. Of, yeah, so still speak to most of them, to be fair. That's good. Nice. Well, some of them have gone on to play at a better level as well. So yeah, we had a good team down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, there's another one here. The person didn't put their name on this one, um, but I've been asked to ask you about what happened to your your bright white trainers when you went to the zoo. Oh no! <laughs> I wonder who sent that on. <laughs> yeah. So we we was going to um yeah we was going to the zoo family day trip. But me, little little boy was two, three years old. Niece, nephew, sister, brother-in-law, like a family day out. I think it was Whipsnay, so it was like an hour and a half drive. Um, me, I put my white trainers on in the morning. They're brand new. Gemma was like, Mrs. was like, can't wait. It was, it was, it was I think it was May Bank holiday, so it was, yeah. it was nice. I was like, no, oh, well, it was nice. Yeah. It's, like, it's a zoo. It's going to be dirty, boggy. Yeah. But, so I turn up, we drove in, parked up, and uh, there was like a a little show, I don't know, it might have been a, a penguin show or yeah. something, so you know where everyone congregates. Yeah, yeah. Or... So I was pushing the pram, and I said to Gemma, I was, we, stand and we stood and watched like, the show, and uh, I said to Gemma, I don't feel great, so I'm, I need to go and sit down. Oh. So I was, <laughs> I was pushing the pram, it was like a little, like a le- it wasn't a bench, it was like an electrical box, but it was like halfway on the grass sort of thing. So I've gone and sat on there, and all of a sudden I've just fainted. <laughs> it just fell <laughs> and yeah trainers grass stains everywhere oh, no. and then uh, so then the, like spent the rest of the day in the, the medical rooms oh my <laughs> oh, nice. so, so it was a great just yeah. about the trainers there. it was a great it was a great day <laughs> yeah, so out, did you eat your head or what <laughs> nah nah just just don't know just, just, what was it down to then I haven't got a clue fair enough just, don't have spells then do you no no never, never. first time no yeah yeah Wow, Same person, again, they didn't put their name on it. They said um, to ask you what happened in the delivery suite in your <laughs> new... <laughs> the you one person. Oh, <laughs> 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 you had to be one person. Was there something you got to tell us? Yeah, it was that. Yeah, <laughs> what that is? Oh, God. Yeah, so going back to that, it's not only one time. Then. Are you faking it then? Gaz, honestly. <laughs> so, so bearing in mind, there's three, bear in mind these three things, right? So, lack of sleep. Yeah. The room was about 100 degrees. Yeah. And I was listening to your commentary. Of South well, I didn't make your face. That morning, right? <laughs> so, oh, all's going well. Gem's comfortable in labour, 36 hours in labour, whatever. And uh, the, the midwife was lovely. She was ending her shift. So she goes, oh, we're going to do the changeover. So, anyway, this, this, new, um, <laughs> this new midwife walked in. She was massive. Right. She, she was lovely French lady she was huge she reminded me of like Didier Drogba she was massive right <laughs> so I look at Gemma and Gemma looks at me and her face is like oh, I felt so sorry for her <laughs> so the lady was putting the blue gloves on to examine Gemma she, and I was like oh my god I started getting like light headed and I was like I'm gonna go <laughs> so I've got up to sort of walk it off <laughs> And uh, 
sat back down and I was like, done. So Gemma screamed, James, I was like, obviously fainted. So the um, midwife pushed me on the seat. She's unstrapping all the blood pressure off Gemma and putting it on me. Yeah, it was carnage. Yeah, so that was... That was that. Oh, again. Again. So you were in the next bed to her? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have another bed, though. But oh. the good thing is that she, like, wheeled a big tray of biscuits and coffee in oh, for me. Nice. So oh, nice. Good. After that, I was... You're going to yeah. faint, then you might as well do it. Nice. And you were there for the birth, hopefully. <laughs> I was there for the birth. I was yeah. all right for the birth, yeah. Good, good. So and that's the best just, part. Just the way she unstrapped all the blood pressure machine. Yeah. And, oh, my, <laughs> as you say, now, I'm going to yeah. Um, before I left home, actually, my um, youngest said to ask you, what's the best goal you scored? Best goal I've scored? Um, the one for Gateshead this year yeah. is probably, probably up there. I think that might have been the one that you were thinking about, yes. Yeah. The Gateshead one. Yeah. When you weren't electrocuting yourself, mate. On the, yeah, must have been. Yeah, it's a touch. Touch. Sort of, of, yeah, like there's, the there's been a, I've had a few good strikes, but I think the touch beforehand was probably... Yeah. Goal against Notts County, the first one. And the keeper sort of duffed his kick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chipped it over yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. It was relatively easy, though. Yeah. He was obviously miles off his line. I know, so that's yeah. it. Well, you know, that was a good goal, yeah. Yeah, I, know, that was yeah, finish, I did like so, that. Yeah. yeah, I like that. There was good. one, actually, um, Boxing Day, probably my favourite Dorking goal. Boxing Day, West Dumble, 2016, I think All it is. Right. I saw it on Twitter, believe it or not, a few... A few months ago, right. um, James, I think James Bachelor put it on there. Is it James Bachelor? Yeah, yeah, used to the videos, yeah, he put it yeah. on there. It was, yeah, it was similar to um, the Gayser one, just without the first touch. Yeah, in front of about ten fans at West Dumble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the forwards you've been playing with, like Al, obviously Alfie uh, Pryor and uh, now Ryan. You know, do you get a good understanding with them? Have you got uh, how's it work with mm-hmm. you and the and the forwards? Uh, yeah, we we work a lot on training in um, attacking patterns and stuff. Um, yeah, it's sort of I've been playing a lot deeper, like like yeah, I said yeah. this year. I haven't really been playing in the, as one of the front two, but um, yeah, they understand. It's sort of you sort of get that understanding of anyone sort mm-hmm. of that's well, yeah, football, yeah, yeah, knowledgeable yeah, of football, yeah, like, yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They're all they're all good in their own right. So you can make some great runs. Alfie's a different striker to. To seeks and obviously prize different to them all. It's all it just sort of works and works out really. Anyone favourite? I know anyone you enjoy. I know you enjoy playing with them all, but is anyone stand out that you thought, yeah, I really enjoyed that season with him? Uh, Al Lemfrey. Or, 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 or I like playing with Toff. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Because um, he would sort of make runs and stretch mm. the centre backs, and I would have more space. More space to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, they're all good in their own right. Play with like Brian was superb to play because he just won everything in the air and yeah. it, if he was knocking it down if it were all, were heading you yeah. like you'd get rebounds off the keeper mm-hmm. or, yeah it was, and the other two yeah it's exactly the same really they're all good mm-hmm. to play with in their own right yeah why are you playing so deeper then is that any particular reason uh I don't know I don't know really it's a question for the gaffer I suppose but it's saying you ask the gaffer why you're playing um, for deep yeah I mean in this league again we're going back to the physicality thing I think you do need a more physical striker to play up there, but um, so I think you sacrificed me to play someone more physical to sort of because when you are under the cost, you do need that out, out ball, out ball you know, yeah. to sort of yeah. get it up to or and play from there. And obviously, if I'm playing with Seeks or Alf or myself, it's we haven't got that, so no, no, fair enough. Cool. What have we got? Any more? Any more? I think we have really, mate, to be honest. I don't want to keep going over some of these other ones. We know that you support Celtic. Um, have you got an English sort of team that you like to watch or? Uh, no, not in particular. No, no never, never really. No. Have, no. I like watching Arsenal this year. They've been playing well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Their football's been yeah. good. Best ground you played at? Uh, Can't say West Ham more. Yeah, it's up there. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Far in, obviously, Ibrox. I won't say Ibrox. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. You don't like Rangers, do you? <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Uh, Chesterfield probably was yeah. yeah 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 nice I mean we played Notts County maybe yeah. one that we haven't played at yet maybe yeah yeah, yeah. obviously we played, played like a friendly, friendly, friendly yeah. Yeah. yeah but um 
Yeah, probably. Wrexham soon. Yeah, New Wrexham, York yeah. Well. well, especially these teams who are up the top. They, you know, I mean, coming to the end of the season and they've got a lot to play for. Yeah. They're going to be like ten thousand. Yeah. What is the most players, uh, spectators you played in front of? Can you really remember that? No. Uh, again, <laughs> like me saying Rangers today, didn't you? Yeah. Probably Rangers, yeah. Look, but there was a lot of empty seats though. So did you play? No, no. What, so what? It, yeah, play wise. Uh. Probably older at the start of the year. Mm. It was like 9,000. 9,000 or so, yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. So probably that. Yeah, the crowds in Scotland weren't. Yeah. weren't because, no, of the, weren't. No, because of the situation they were in, it was packed that day. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 So I, don't, I think there'd be about 10 at Wrexham, I reckon, if they're still yeah. pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So they, that's what they sort of average so far this yeah. year, isn't it? Yeah. Does, that, does that not worry you, but do that affect your game, do you feel? Or what do you think, oh, God, there's a big crowd out there? No, I don't even think of it. No, no, nah. no. Nah. I wouldn't really affect me if you, obviously the atmosphere is different, but if it's a play in front of 100 people at West Humble or. Yeah. Would well, that inspire, probably Ireland. inspire you then if there were like 10, 10 uh, Welsh people, uh, 10,000 Welsh people shouting at you? Yeah. yeah, obviously, mate, you. I don't know if, whether it make you feel sort of, make you more up for it. it yeah. not really make you more up for it at all. No, so not really, really. But I understand what you're saying. Yeah. When there's a big crowd there, it obviously yeah. makes you sort of. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Feel, definitely. Feel. I think I've got any more gas. Okay, well, thanks for your time, James. It's really, no really kind of you to come in. I hope you've enjoyed the evening and some of the questions we fired at you tonight. Yeah, yeah, all good. And all good. Uh, like I say, we, we, you've had a great season, mate. You're really doing doing well and uh, keep the good work up, mate. Yeah. And uh, I hope the rest of the season, the second part of the season, is as good as the first part for you, mate. Hopefully. Cheers, Gaz. No worries. It. Well, thanks yeah, very much for your time. I say thanks to all the people that sent all the emails and the uh, messages as well. Jason Weir, Doogie Hall, Tanya, uh, Stephen Dimmock, Ian Murray, Ray, Sam, Tom Williams, and Paul Cook, and Anonymous, whoever that might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I spoke to him again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, James, and uh, all the best for Saturday and the rest of the yeah. trophy as well. Thank yeah. you very much. Cheers, Cheers. mate. Talking Wanderers is proudly sponsored by Complete Carpentry and Build. Visit www.completecarpentryandbuild.co.uk. Check out their website.